Now, I'm going to move my presentation. Um, I prepared some presentation as a director of Hala Newcastle PBL Education and Research Center. Jeju Hala University is making various efforts to operate on classes. So I'd like to share our EPBL process to you. Hello, I am Suzy Yun, director of Hala Newcastle PBL Education and Research Center. First of all, it is my great privilege to speak about the cases and prospects of EPBL at Jeju Hala University. My topic is the design and operation of EPBL in nursing courses. I'm going to touch upon the subtopics in the order shown in the content. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought a tremendous change to society. Society has been completely changed to the extent that it is viewed as before and after the pandemic. Due to the intensive promotion of social distancing measures, online classes have now become a matter of compulsory approach rather than a matter of a personal choice. South Korea's education in elementary, middle, and high schools, as well as in college, was fully switched to home-based learning and has been offered on different platforms. The following is the set of words related to COVID-19 and education that students at Jeju Hala New University School of Nursing selected. Most students choose words that involve online classes and platforms such as Zoom, online, contact, home, mask, classing, online quiz, and e-learning. Of the less frequently mentioned words, there was washing hands, which is quite not relevant. And some words such as too much homework and vsim, which are related to practical training through virtual simulation. It shows the, finding, the survey findings on the level of satisfaction with the school distance learning systems as of the beginning of the second semester in South Korea. 68 of parents were discontent with the quality of remote learning, while 50% of teachers answered they were satisfied. This suggests a difference in perception of online classes between parents and teachers. Particularly, the categories of communication with the teachers and friends during an online classes show the higher level of dissatisfaction than that of satisfaction. Next, the respondents were very discontent with the quality of remote learning in terms of respondents' feedback and motivation to learn. This data was released by Harvard University concerning education responses by OECD countries. It contains the survey findings on the educational priorities that are difficult to meet during the crisis. Noticeably, the respondents answered that although ensuring the continuity of the academic learning of students should be the top priority, it is the most difficult to deal with. This suggests that concerning the education priorities, the respondents found it very difficult to ensure education and support during the crisis. Particularly, availability of technological infrastructure and addressing students' emotional health were selected as the challenges in making education responses during the COVID-19 pandemic. Given the two answers, online learning requires more investment in great, uh, creating technological infrastructure as the most urgent prerequisite. And due to the non-face-to-face -face learning environment, more communication with students is needed. 
This data shows positive, unexpected educational result of the COVID-19 crisis. The respondents answered that the most positive result was an introduction of technologies and other innovative solutions, followed by increased autonomy of students to manage their own learning and increased social interests in education. Jeju Hall University has strengthened its online education system since 2019 by launching the Learning 5.0 initiative this year, we had led innovation of technologies for education. Under the guidelines, EPBL has promoted full scale. EPBL is an acronym for Electronic Problem-Based Learning. It is extended to teaching and learning in offline and online spaces using electronic media diversifying from the existing framework of online-centered education. A great advantage is that its application can be maximized to the different teaching activity it ranges from curriculum design to media use. It is online-based teaching and learning method that utilizes internet platform, including websites and social media. We use such platforms as Zoom, Webinar, and YouTube to allow for real-time online video lectures. The term EPBL already existed before the outbreak of COVID-19, but it was not easy to agree upon and apply to school education due to concerns and burdens because of a pandemic. However, the nation postponed the start of school semesters for the first time in history, followed by the start of semesters with online classes. Thus, full-scale EPBL has become a reality of the Jeju Holland University School of Nursing and is now normalized as a teaching and learning method. With Acceptance of the online classes, school education is highly likely to change rapidly. Once online classes are normalized, students will perceive that they can study by taking whatever classes they want in any places and at any time going beyond the physically limited school space. To put in differently, they will no longer confine their perception of the school space to space for offline gatherings. It will also bring changes to the perceptions of roles and teachers and students. We should avoid inserting knowledge into our students but allow them to experience the knowledge building process while pursuing the goal of a personality building education. To this end, teachers should precisely monitor students and provide both effective and emotional feedback. In terms of educational tool called EduTech, we should study different types of online teaching methodologies. It is also necessary to adopt the teaching and learning model of offering feedback to learners by applying the appropriate educational content. This requires the innovation of on-class and evaluation methodologies. Then, what should be the new role of teachers? Precisely, the teachers run the existing curriculum that is teacher-centered, lecture-based, collective-centered education. But now, they should strengthen strength, uh, students' capacity to study alone wisely. Therefore, there is a need for a shift to active, action-oriented, and student-centered education from the perspective of a structuralism. In the so-called Fourth Industrial Revolution, the key to the success of the education system lies in flexibility, particularly 
the COVID-19 crisis provides an opportunity to realize the necessity of flexibility in the overall education system. For a flexible educational system, we need to redirect our curriculum to pursue individual performance rather than the quantity of learning, evaluation of process rather than the results, self-diagnosed learning rather than test-oriented learning. Society will place a greater importance on self-learning and problem-solving skills rather than on the contents of knowledge. Therefore, the current classification of subjects will be weakened while more emphasizes will be put on the practicability of converging multidisciplinary knowledge to solve problems. Different type of educational programs involves different teaching and learning methods as well as different learning active, active activities and effects. When then, problem-based learning can be applied to reality in the forms of team-based learning and project-based learning. These require the arrangement of respective learning spaces. Therefore, online platforms are introduced to better allow team-based learning and project-based learning. A successful EPBL should be based on the four requisites. Change of tools, establishment of platforms, innovation of spaces, and role of teachers. First, given the distribution of different smart devices, supportive tools for online classes should be unified. This also enables the shortening of the gap between students in the benefits of remote learning. In terms of EPBL, an individually customized platform should be established to provide diverse teaching and learning options, which support assignment-based classes, real-time two-way classes, and subject-based content. 3. Rather than classrooms, convergent spaces should be arranged with mobile smart devices and equipment as well as internet access available at all times. Teachers should not just deliver knowledge but help students build knowledge. They should be facilitators of individuals' capacities of students and have the ability to cordially communicate and emphasize with the students. Jeju Hala University is overcoming the crisis by utilizing the existing PBL-based classes in combination with the school's online learning platforms and other various online platforms. Our method involves a set of problem-solving processes where the problems are introduced, discussion are exchanged to analyze the problems, and the knowledge it required to solve potential problems is obtained through lectures, team assignments, and presentations. Teachers provide online feedback to students while they engage the autonomous learning for team assignments and discover appropriate solutions to the problems. Depending on the characteristics of subjects, new in instruments of, or software are used. This shows the different online activities we apply by learning stage. The discussion resection presents problems to be solved and roles to be located in the stage of a problem presentation, problem analysis, and solution research. In use of software such as Zoom, Google, Classrooms, Socrative, and so on.
to present the problem of scenario, there are Zoom, Google Classroom, Mentimeter, and Socrative, and EECL. Some of our Jeju Hala University professors have developed and applied a personal app called EECL. We used it as a concept mapping or discussion board through software such as Poplet, Mural, Clasting, Padlet, and Band to analyze the problems and issue problems during group discussion. It's a method of feedback from facilitators during students' assignments or discussions, feed, feedback through Zoom meetings and Korean representative SNS open chats such as Kakao Talk and LMS system within a school are widely used. The sim floor. As a mean of mutual communication for group activities among students, they were Discord, Discord video calls and micro teams and Muro. When students present, they also use platforms like Zoom and YouTube. Students strive to convey knowledge and skills by devising their assignments in a, very of, a variety of creative ways. I'd like to show you a short presentation video that I remember being most creative recently. It is said that the students took and edited their one Lego photos while moving. So they are moving. For evaluation, we mainly use quiz type evaluation. They were Socrates and Kahoot and edufield there is also an application called quiz edufield developed by one of the professor herself in 2020 jeju hala university conducted a survey of 503 students in its school of nursing who take epbl classes the survey uh, questions included evaluation of a package, the learning tool of EPBL, evaluation of academic achievement through EPBL, satisfaction of learning through EPBL. Let me share the result of, with you. In terms of gender, 20% were male students while female students accounted for 80%. This shows the students' responses to the digital devices they mainly use for learning through the EPBL platform. As you see, most students use laptops followed by desktop and tablet PCs in that order. Noticeably, nine of the respondents have only smartphones. Now, you can see the score given the nursing school students for their academic achievement, learning satisfaction, reliability of tools, and evaluation of the package. The survey results show the high level of reliability of the tools. The maximized score of each category was five. The students gave 3.98 uh, to academic achievement and 3.81 to learning satisfaction 
and four point one uh, oh seven to evaluation of package, all of which stand at a high level. According to the analysis by school year, the first year respondents gave the highest score in all the categories. Noticeably, the first year students are never experienced previously PBL courses, only experiences a PBL methodology. The learning activities that are most frequently used on our LMS platform were listening to the lecture, assignments, activities, and quizzes in order. Other frequently used services including data search and download, learning activities and subject notice boards, and communication Q&A. When searched for information on the EPBL platform, students uh, generally used web portals such as Neighbor, in Internet Newspapers, and Thesis, Study Materials, and Domestic Journals. As the subject of research, some students left comments on the EPBL platform they experienced particularly on the convenience of the offline group activities. They said that can preview the lectures, optimize the speed of lectures to their learning space, and that the lectures are allowed for repeated learning. This shows that online lectures can provide a diversified support for learning. On the other hand, teacher students inter interaction and interaction inter students interaction was reduced in comparison to offline classes there were com comments on the lack of infrastructure for online classes and increased amount of learning jeju hala university has made a range of efforts to build infrastructure for online classes and reinforce professor-learner interaction. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the age of new normal began in the field of education as well. The term new normal often appears with attempt to reflect on the past and explore a new order our field of education is also facing the era of new normal. It is now time to consider the era of new normal in education, where we should prepare for the education in the future based on the current new conditions in a field of education amid the pandemic. In the current era, the main agent that operates classes on the front line of education should be the teacher. It is true that through remote learning, students engage more extensively in a classes by asking questions and providing feedback on the content. However, the teacher should control of the procedure as main agent. The role of teachers in a post-COVID-19 era is critical in the sense. Then, what changes should be made to the role of teachers? Teachers should normalize the blended operation of online and offline curriculum. They should use technologies to deliver knowledge and focus more on the student's knowledge building process. They should lead the innovation of education by disseminating the reasons for and value of instances of schools and teachers only experiences a PBL methodology. Thus, on the EPBL platform, teachers should constantly pursue class operation with experience-based approach while guiding the students to become lifelong learners who possess their own right to learn. These professors are committee members of 
PBL Research and Education Center and have joined this research that will be addressed in a presentation today. Also, thank you very much for President Kim to support PBL Center.